All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch dancers from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Richie Boy. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? So after dropping his UFC debut by knockout, there's a lot of pressure on this man here tonight to get his first UFC win, and in some respects, maybe to preserve his spot on this UFC roster. Never want to go to 0-2 in the UFC, so perhaps this is a must-win scenario here for him here tonight. He is not trying to put any undue pressure on himself, but there's a very real possibility if he can't turn this thing around and win tonight, that he would be handed his walking papers. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Oh, oh man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys can stop from taking too many. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch lands in the perfect spot. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Look at him, chop, chop. Oh, nicely done.
down there as he escapes back to his feet. Now a kick to the bottom. The Korean Superboy gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Single collar tie now. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Back to his feet. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Shin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. Okay, now two, you ready? You ready? Let's go, fight. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at the whip action. That Do you believe it? He's done, he's done. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, 54. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay, we don't need the scorecards. We don't need the scorecards. Do as you may, proceed as you may. Because this guy knew that he had to finish the fight exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and he got the finish.